Green. Right. Yeah. Blue. <laughs> Over pet hate when it comes to AV stuff. And uh, anybody that's ever done an event with me that in, that uh, manages AV, they'll know that if something goes wrong with AV, I uh, I turn into a very not a not, not a nice person at that point. Oh man, that's going to bug the crap out of me. Anyway, we'll play it. Have we got volume on this? We good? Yeah. Great. Um, so we're starting our new. Si oh, hang on. We'll play this. Oh no, do that and then we'll play that. All right. So, we're starting our new series tonight. Those of you who are joining us live, um, welcome. It's going to be an amazing thing. This is called B Cubed. Have any of you ever played with one of these things? You know? yeah. Anybody know what it's called? Rubik's Cube! Rubik's Cube. Well, I call it, I call it brain... I call it brain death, is what I call it, you know? I'm about as good as I can get it is about how it is right now, you know? So, one side and a couple of alignments there with the center cube. See that orange? See that white? Can you see back there? It's true. Yeah, come on! Yeah. So, however, I do have friends of mine that can do this in about 34 seconds flat, you know? And um, it's crazy. It's crazy stuff. So it's a Rubik's Cube. So tonight um, we're starting the series called Be Cubed and uh, it's all about um, cubes have multi faces to them, multi facets to them and so the whole idea over the next four weeks is, uh, four or five weeks, is to actually um, have a look at the different faces of you, you know, and um, I don't know about you but um, I've been judged at times in my life um, on appearance or on uh, how I've been perceived in a certain environment and then uh, things have been said about me, then I think, hang on a second, that's, that's not me, you know, that's not true. And then you try and defend it, and before you can defend it, it's out there that the, you're the thing. Anybody else been accused like that or found yourself in that situation where somebody's thought you're one thing? You know, you might be quiet at... Nice, now you put your hands down, we'll come up with a hand up in a moment, another one. Um, you can uh, find yourself, you might be quiet in one environment, so all of a sudden you're just this quiet, loner kind of person. You ever been sort of that and you're really not, you're really a noisy person? Hey, Bianca. You know? <laughs> so, 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 just saying, you know, you could be like that. And then there are times where you just want to be that quiet, reflective individual. And that's a different face, it's a different side of who you are. And usually when you are that, people say, what do they say to you? If you're noisy most of the time and then you're quiet sometimes, what does someone say to you? What the hell is wrong with you? What the hell is wrong with you? I know. Why, can it, why does it have to be something wrong? Why can't I just not be deep and broody and melan melancholy? You know, have you? Yeah, <laughs> melancholy. <laughs> have you not seen Megamind? Come on, if you haven't seen Megamind, it's the best one of the best movies. Uh, it's a good movie. Anyway, um, one of the challenges we've got is we're going to let Jerry Maguire talk to you just for a couple of seconds um, about something. And uh, if, have you ever seen the movie Jerry Maguire? No. Let's see if this works. Woo! Sound quality. Help me. Help me. Help me. Help you. <laughs> right, so that's the whole point of tonight, is I want to I wanna help you. Would that be cool? Would that be cool if we did that? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, well. No! No! Oh, pure joy of the game. Yeah, pure joy. There we go. There we go. We can't hear that anymore. You know, so the challenge for us is <coughs> in, tonight is I want to talk to you about four things that we're going to cover over these next four weeks, which is going to help you. Help me. Help you. I want you to say, help me. Help me. Save me. <laughs> no, I can't save people. That's another save person's me, job, you know. Say, help me. Help me. Help me. No, like, help me. Help me. Give me your best help me. I can only see half the front row go and help me. I can't hear anything from the back. Help me. Save us. All right. No, no. Help me. Help me help you. Never. What do you want? You want me to do what? Help me. Help me. All right. Help me. Hopefully over the next uh, four weeks, I'm going to help you look at the different aspects of your life. One of the challenges at Bridge Builders, you can come here every single week and um, how many of you have not missed a week this year so far? Legends. 
Yeah. We should clap that. We should clap that. That's a clap. That's really That's mine. All right. <coughs> Because the fact is, you can come here and you can be feeling sad, you can be feeling glad, you can be feeling mad, and at the end of the, of the day, at the end of the night, you can feel a little different. And sometimes that's because you've got your blue face on, right? You might be feeling blue, right? How'd you like that one? I prepared that earlier. That took me. That seriously took me about half an hour to get that right, you know? And what was doing my eyeballs in was I couldn't get the, it doesn't matter, the alignment stuff that going on there, but whatever. But I got blue face right. So if we only look at that, tonight we're talking blue face, all right? We're talking about the, the, the face that we see when we're at Bridge Builders tonight. But is that all there is to you as a person? No, it is not. How many of you are musicians? How many of you try to be musicians? How many of you are singers? How many of you try to be singers? Come on us! You know, so how many of you are fit on the inside? <laughs> I am so buff on the inside, mate. I, I can see myself. I've got the best abs. They're just covered over with some winter coat. And I'm just getting ready. Yeah, I'm extra liable, that's right, you know. So I've got the longer shirt on now, it's called a tall tee almost, you know. I'm sporting my new shirt this evening, making me slender. If you say it's not, look out, you know. So the challenge is quite simply is that there are multifacets to us and there's multifacets to bridge builders and over these next few weeks we're going to help unpack that about you. We want to help you be in a different place at the end of this year um, than we are now. Now an interesting thing I found, um, there's these cool apps you can get right and uh, I love weird apps right. So there is an app right now that's out there it's called Countdown to New Year 2018 and so and we'll just refresh. You're already ready to count down. Hey? You had enough of this year already. You had enough of this year? No, I said you. The, well, it's interesting, you know. Um, one of the things is we can make money and lose money. Every week you get your pay or you don't get any pay and you think, oh, you know, that bill came in, you know, that thing. You know, somebody rings you and you owe the money and you forgot. I get that all the time. I like to forget about bills. But the reality is, here's the thing, is each of us have... Till New Year's, 237 days. Right? So you think, whoa, that's cool. But then you've got 5,691 hours. They're all the same. Or you've got 341,476 minutes. Or you have 20,488,553.52 51, 50, 49 seconds. 48. Now, regardless of whether we feel like we can stop time, which we can't, that is the same for, our, for all of us. 20 million seconds, 400, 20 million 400,000 seconds left for the rest of this year. We would love it at Bridge Builders, we're talking about a leadership team, but at the end of the year, you know, we would love it that that 20 million seconds, you probably say, well, 19 million of those seconds I'm going to sleep. But, you know, so even if it's whatever you give to bridge builders, whatever you give to your life over the next 20 million seconds, we only, we all have the same amount of seconds. It's all, it doesn't, you can't add. Somebody said to me the other day, I rang them and I said to them, how are you doing? He goes, mate, if you could give me another 24 hours in a week, that would be great. I said, I'll work on that right away. Is there any chance of that happening? No. No. The only thing he can do is shorten his sleep, lengthen his day, and he'd probably be dead fairly young. But the reality is every single one of us have 20,488,485. Four, three. And it's ticking down this year. At the end of this year, are you going to be a different person or in a different place at the end of these 20 million seconds or not? Now you can say it's too hard, it's too long, it's 20 million seconds, oh it's 237 days, oh my god. For some of you, you're counting down the days to the, till um, VCE is over. And I think that's probably only about six weeks, or eight weeks away. <laughs> and then comes exams. <laughs> so the reality is, for all of us, we, are, we all have this 20 million seconds. The thing for me is I want to make sure that in my year, or in my 20 million seconds that we have left for this year, that I jam as much life into that as possible. People I want to meet, places I want to go, things I want to eat and see. 
<laughs> I do want to eat, you know, other things, you know. So the challenge is, what are you going to do over these next 20 million seconds that's going to make you a different person at the end? Because we all have the same. I don't care whether you come from a low socioeconomic family, that means you're pov, you know, or you come from a rich family, or you think, oh no, I've got low self-esteem, or you've got really good self-esteem, but it's really covered over with a whole lot of facade. But the reality is, you could be that person that has a 20 million seconds in front of you and do nothing with it over the next 20 million seconds. You could just be the same in 20, 000, uh, 2018 that you owned 2017. Or we could take that 20 million seconds and make something of it. Because once you take sleep out of it, and then maybe nana naps for maybe people like me and Mary, you know, that we have our little nana naps on a Sunday afternoon. Oh, I loved it yesterday afternoon. I had many nanas yesterday, you know. And so I'm sure I was watching a movie at some point and realised I know nothing about this movie off, you know. So because I'd had so many... The boys had come over, I was on my couch with my doona, wasn't I? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so the challenge for us is quite simply this. Over the next 20 million seconds, is there a way that we could help you be a different you? Not because of us, not because we want something more from you, not because we want something different for you, but if we could take a little bit of time and write down some things about you that you would like to be different and then help you be you differently at the end of this year. Would that be a cool thing? Help you help yourself. Help, help, what? Help you help yourself. Help you help yourself. That's a new one we're going to use. Not help me help you, help you help yourself. Right. <laughs> You know, say that a few times quick, you know, so, don't, no, don't say it internally, right, so, yeah, I know, you were going to say that loud, right, so, here's the challenge, <coughs> in your packs tonight, we're going to start it, if you're interested, only if you're interested, because here would be the sad thing, that in 20 million seconds, I could ask you, so, what was different for you this year, what changed for you this year, and you say, well, but... I was gonna, I love gonna. I've, I'm, I'm a gunner in some things in my life. I'm gonna change that. I'm gonna, not in all things, so you gotta learn to manage it, right? But what do you want at the end of this year? Do you want a thousand dollars? Do you want a thousand dollars? Win the cup yeah. from the raffle? <laughs> Keely, you want a thousand dollars at the end of this year? Yes. Are you well on your way to doing that? Come here and tell me, explain to everybody how we might help me, help me, help them, help you, help I. Thank help you. Yeah. 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 Help, let me help you remember that. Right? Thanks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, um, at home, thanks to Phil, um, if you get like a 600ml bottle of whatever and you empty it and you fill it with $2 coins, you can have... One well, I prepared earlier. Thank you. Um, if you empty it, like tip it out, and you That's fill right. it up with $2 coins, at the end of the year it will be $1,000. Wow. I'm currently about here. Like there, and it's 200, so I'm still getting there. That's good. That's really got a long time to go. You've got 20 million seconds to 20 do that. Seconds. Where do you live? Oh, no, I'm just <laughs> I can fill my two to hundred dollars, you know, but here's the challenge. It's quite simply, we think, oh, a thousand dollars. There's no way I could ever have that in my life. No way. But I hate poo change, and I throw it in the ashtray, and I give it at the intersections. Oh, that's all good, right? At home, I started that myself. Boys, my boys do it. I do it. We've got that at home. It's a 600ml bottle. Now the challenge is, when you see that growing, you go, oh gee, that frock. I want that frock. You know, I want those new runners. James. You know, I want those, you know. <laughs> the challenge is it does take discipline. Now, in my home, we not only have a five cent bucket out on the bench um, for everybody to put their five centsies in, but I have now a two dollar bottle a one dollar bottle and an everything else bottle. <laughs> everything else, yeah. Just 50 cents, 20 cents. Now, I don't know, but I'm tempted at times to go, oh, I just could buy a coffee with a couple of those coins. What happens? And then I start taking the coffee. I'll keep going back. 
So the challenge is, at the end of the year, you could simply have $1,000 by emptying, by drinking this lovely, refreshing, I'll rehydrating drink, water, <laughs> and you could actually fill that with $2 coins and have 1000 bucks at the end of the year. That would be a phenomenal. That, Wouldn't that be right. amazing? What just happened? by doing that. So, <clears throat> one of the things we do here at um, Bridge Builders is um, we really want people to feel like they belong. So I loved what Susan did tonight, handing out uniforms and stuff like that. Because for some of us, it's like, oh, another one, another T-shirt, you know. But for some of us, it's like a sense of, yeah. Yeah, yeah. you've got your lanyard, you've got your T-shirt. It's like, oh, fit. I remember when I was doing martial arts, um, I bought the gi, you know. And so I looked like every other gi wearer, you know, when I went there. And then... I went on to Aido, which is um, a bit more samurai-ish, you know, and I have a sword and everything else. But then I went one step further and I was buying the actual martial arts dojo t-shirts. So I'd strut down the street and people would see Edge Martial Arts written down on my t-shirt. And Andy and I were great mates and he, I would see that and people would say, oh, you go to Edge. Oh, I go to Edge. I said, I haven't seen you in my class because I'm in the samurai class. So the challenge is there's this great, and you'll see that with our guys, when you wear your t-shirt out, there are guys that go down the street here and you get discounts in some of the shops here because you walk in with a Bridge Builders t-shirt on. I'm not telling you which shops that is, that's why you have to wear your shirt. So the challenge for us is quite simply, is we came up with an idea of how could we identify ourselves and really make you feel like you belong. And so our crew decided in four weeks that you could become a member, do the Wabab session, and then you could get your t-shirt and your landed and you could, be, you could really feel more like you belong. Some of you came to the Grand Prix the other week, a um, week ago or so, however far back that was, was that a week ago? About a week before. So the reality is, you know, that was a weekish ago, and so some two weeks or whatever we were, and so <coughs> the challenge for us is that some of you it was a first event you came to, you came to, but just the the sense of um, friendship and community and just hanging out and eating macas. Look, I've probably eaten too much of so much, and you know the challenge is we we all hung out together, so you don't really connect a lot with a lot of people on Monday night. You have your pack, but going to an event, you feel like, wow, man, I'm really getting to know some more people. This is really cool fun. So it creates this sense of belonging, and you know the four fundamental human needs. What are they? Oxygen, Love it. Naomi, water, say it again. Water. Say it out loud. Love, value, acceptance. Other what? Love, value, acceptance. And Oxygen. And oxygen. <laughs> oxygen, water, food, other people. Now, human needs, you know, not to keep us alive. Yeah, like Naomi said, love, value, acceptance and belonging. You will do whatever it takes in your entire life. Those four things will manipulate the hell out of you your entire life. Those four words, they will cause you to do things legally and illegally, morally and immorally, in order to get those four needs met. So our goal is to help you do that in a healthy way over the next 20 million seconds. So if you have 20 million seconds, we want to make sure that that's of value. And so part of the way that we, we give you a sense of belonging is to give you a t-shirt. That's why we encourage you to do your four weeks and then to go on and do uh, an event with someone. Buy in. Step in. The guys that sit in your pack that are asking you and talking to you about your life, they're not judging you because they've had their own journey too. And we get this, we get afraid of maybe trying to help someone, you know, get through their stuff because they can't um, share because they feel vulnerable or they feel like, oh, what will everybody think? Well, everybody might not be thinking about what you're thinking about. They might be thinking about themselves. So the challenge for us is quite simply that over the next... Uh, four weeks, we want to give you a real sense of community. Imagine if we could put you in front of corporate people or people within our community that were extraordinary and had a journey and would, would love to get alongside you and create a pathway and an opportunity for you to achieve your goals and your dreams. Wouldn't that be a cool thing? Because see, Bridge Builders has been around a long time and we have a lot of connections. We have a lot of connections personally within this team and we have a lot of connections with people that are watching us and the people that are on Facebook and people in our business networks. But see, if they don't know and if we don't know what you want, then we can't introduce you to these amazing, extraordinary people that could change your life. In the next 20 million seconds, those people could get alongside you and at the end of this year, you could be in a totally different place than you were right now. Be cool, wouldn't it? Yeah. 
Here's the other challenge, is we want to be, sometimes, in order to change, um, we have to grow a brain, all right? Now, that doesn't mean you're not smart. It just means sometimes our brain gets a bit stuck and we don't quite know how to move something forward. You know, we, we, we find ourselves doing the same old, same old thing, and we find ourselves, you know, kind of thinking, oh, one day I'm gonna kick that habit. One day I'm gonna stop doing that. One day I'm gonna save $1,000 in a 600 mil bottle, you know? One day it's gonna be like that. Now, one day, how many seconds in one day? A lot. Yeah, <laughs> right. But in the end of the day, it's still 24 hours. Mm -hmm. Good. So the uh, the 24 hours, the 20 uh, million seconds that you have, the minute you say one day, that's more seconds gone. All the time, just disappearing. Bump, 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 and it just keeps going. We're already in what month? My accountant said to me the other day, Phil, um, uh, you need to get your tax done. I said, Hang on a second, the year just started. What? What do you mean? And he says, we're coming up to the end of the financial year. I said, so what in what month are we in? You know, and he said, I was having an anxiety attack standing in front of him. And he goes, it is April. I said, oh, <laughs> i got heaps of time. He says, before you know it, it's going to be on you. Now we're coming up to mid-May. What have I done about it? Nothing. One day I will. <laughs> One day. So One the day. challenge, <coughs> excuse me. So the one challenge for us, quite seriously, is that we could keep thinking that that would never happen to me, no one would ever want to hang out with me, my life will never change, and you know what the reality is? So is your confession, so is your life. As you speak it out, that's what you get. Regardless of whether you believe in God or whether you believe in the cosmos, it's what you speak out of your heart, that's exactly what you get. So, no one would ever love me? Yep, not that attitude. Woo! Right? You're right. You know, I will never be wealthy. Woo! I will never be thin. Woo! <laughs> I will always be extra lovable. Woo! Come on, I'm chunky. So, the challenge for us, there's more of us than there is of you skinny minis anyway, so we win, you know. <laughs> We keep the world in balance. You know why the world sits like that? Doesn't matter. We'll move on, you know? Because we're all hanging over one side. So, the reality is, for us, is quite simply that we could change something in the next 20 million seconds. The more we sleep, the more we avoid, the more we step back, the more we're afraid of, those 20 million seconds just keep on ticking. And then you'll get to the end of this year and you'll go, oh, right. 2018's my year, you know? New year, new me. <laughs> yeah. So, but we have to grow a brain. We have to grow our mind to be able to retrain it. Sometimes we need, you know, there's an ad on TV where the guy's head unscrews. I think it was for the home show or something. And there's all this stuff going on inside his head, right? The reality is sometimes I feel like that. I feel like if you could just twist my head off, take my brain out, put it in some disinfectant, give it a good scrub, pop then it back in die. there, you know, then there would be some things that would be clean. You know, there would be some things that would just be gone in my brain that affect my daily decisions. So that could be procrastination, that could be the way you spend your money, that could be all these kind of things that you just think, you know what, if only I had help. Well imagine if this year, in the next 20 million seconds, that we could help you change that. So that as people begin to perceive the blue side of you, the other sides of you begin to deepen and grow and develop. Before you know it, people see you like a multifaceted person. Oh my God. Hello, I know. So, the challenge is, I've got a friend of mine, um, I do a lot with him in business. <coughs> um, I do a lot with him in business, and every time I hang out with him, there's, a, there's people who don't tolerate him well because he talks a lot. I give him a run for his money. So, um, I wait for the breath, and then I'm in, you know, and so, the challenge for him is that because he's so intelligent, he actually, uh, what they call polarises people, he actually pushes people away, he, like causes them to still step back. Oh, he's talked so much about so many things. As I spend time with this guy, letting him talk to me about what he knows and what he does, I am fascinated 
this guy is a genius. He's so much of a genius that it affects friendships around him because they just don't know how to relate a genius level intellect. I'm glad to say that I'm working on my genius level intellect <laughs> by hanging out with him. <laughs> Yay me. There's some good chip squad right down the front of here. So, the challenge for us, again, is to imagine over the next 20 million seconds that if you had an idea, a thought about a, a pathway, a career, a, a, a way of moving your life forward different to what it's been in the experience of your parents or your grandparents or whatever, or right in your current reality where you are right now, you just want it different. Imagine if we could help you develop your career, that we could put you through a process of, of growing skills in you, that making you job ready and employable. Quite simply, you might just present poorly you know you just might not turn up for a job interview looking cool looking right for that job and so we've got business owners that will come into this environment and will help you get alongside you and say you know what a little bit of product a little bit of aftershave and underarm deodorant might not go astray how about a little brushing of the teeth you know that might work a little fur mountain hanging out the front of your gob there you know that might not be a good thing you know so the reality is for us is quite simply over the next 20 million seconds which is less now of course is could we help you could we change you could we see and not because of us but because you want it because you're sick and tired of people seeing the blue face you're sick and tired of seeing of just being known as this rather than all of this you know, so rather than being this, and I, I was on the weekend, I was talking to someone and they said to me, what are you doing this weekend? And I've, I've got this little stick it note that was on my bench. Boys can tell you, they came out. I've got this little stick it note on my bench and there would have been 12 things written on that note, on that little post-it note. Eight of them I got done on the weekend. I know, yeah, well, it doesn't matter. I think, well, 12, and I go, oh, you know. And I got eight of them done on the Saturday because Sunday started to rain. And then what happened? You did nothing but sleep. I did nothing but sleep. Had nanas. You know, so, was that good for me? No. no. Yes, it was. No, no, no. Give me your rest. Yeah. Those nanas were awesome. Yeah, I felt no guilt. Rest. So, <coughs> excuse me. So the challenge, guys, quite simply, as we go into packs tonight, I want to challenge you with two things tonight to start that process. What we are going to commit to you as an organisation, as a leadership team, is we're going to help you come up with um, this idea called an aspirational plan. And what that simply is, is a plan for your life over the next 20 million seconds. That if we could somehow, as a leadership team, help you, I've seen it on your Facebook, same old posts over and over and over and over again. How about we stop that and say for this next one million seconds, I'm not going to respond like that. I'm not going to react like that. That doesn't mean we you know, become robots and we don't have emotions. We all go up and down. That's signs of life, by the way. You know, so if you're up and down in life, that's signs of life. If you're doing that, you're dead. So the challenge for us is quite simply, in the ups and downs of our life, could bridge builders have some opportunity and the leadership team here have an opportunity to actually invest in you and help you grow, you map what we need to do over this next um, 20 million seconds. Would that be okay if we helped you do that? Yep. We've got one. Maybe. Yes. Maybe. Nice. Now, for some people in this room, you've already got a plan. Now, again, this is not about us or the leadership team forcing anything on you. This is 100%. 100% is about you. But if you think that you have everything that it takes to achieve what you want, you are sadly mistaken. We just simply don't have enough resources in ourselves or in our worlds at times to achieve all that we need. That's why we have friends. That's why we have colleagues. That's why we have schoolmates. That's why we get to know other people oh, yeah. and other in environments because we, we can't live as islands in isolation. It will be a challenge. And here's the thing we say to our guys here all the time, do it afraid. Because the worst thing would be, in 20 million seconds, you could turn around and go, ah, oh, I've got regret. Nothing's changed. Nothing's changed. And that's a lie. Because if you commit and conf confess to this kind of idea that you want something different, something different will come along. 
but you need a plan to know how to do that. I was talking with a couple of the guys and I was sharing it with the leadership meeting uh, earlier. Uh, opportunity comes past our door every single day. Every day, opportunity comes past. Now what we do is we wait for opportunity to knock on our door, open the door, come on in, drag us off the couch and say to us, come on, you know, it doesn't work like that. Opportunity is like a train passing by. You've got to open the door and you have to take a step out and you have to get on the train. Opportunity passes every single one of us every day, but you have to be ready for it. What's the scary part? Actually doing it. Yeah, actually stepping on the train. Now I've stepped off plenty of trains in my lifetime. <clears throat> some have been good experiences, some not so good. Some I didn't run the right way and ended up looking like a tumbleweed, you know? So they've been bad experiences, you know? Other times I've run for the train, got on them. You can't do that anymore, unfortunately, or fortunately, whichever way, but it was still cool to run down the track and jump onto a train. So <clears throat> the reality for all of us guys is simply this. In your packs tonight, we would like to start that opportunity with you to help you in 20 million seconds be in a different place. At the end of this year, we would love you to feel so much more amazing about you. You might feel great about you, but imagine feeling outstanding. Imagine feeling like you've never, no one in your family has ever saved a thousand dollars. Imagine you being that first person and you protect that one thousand dollars and then you spend it all at Christmas time. And you bludgeon someone to death with it. Blood? <laughs> Put all We're talking to you later. You know, it's like, the, the challenge for us guys simply is when you go into your packs, there's two things we want to ask you. How you currently feel about you. Now they're going to hand you, you don't have to talk out loud about this, like, oh my God, I've got to share my feelings. No, you don't. You can, you don't have to. But in your pack, we're going to hand you out a little sheet. It's a little A4 sheet. That's A4, by the way. And it has two little boxes on it. And in the top box, it says how you feel about you. And you just write in there. Now, if you're a drawer, you can draw pictures in there about how you feel about you. I'm right? It, you're amazing at drawing, right? If you're a writer, and if you're not a writer, scratch it in there. You know, whatever. You know, use fingerprints or something. So the challenge in the top box, the second box down, the, down below is how you feel about how you fit in your world, in your community. The reason for that, we need to know that right from the start, is we need to know where we're starting, what's the starting point with you. And the fact is, those of you here tonight are going to have this first opportunity. Every person that joins Bridge Builders over the next 21, uh, 20 million seconds is going to have the same opportunity. So if there are people who come next week who haven't been here tonight, they're going to start this thing that we're doing tonight next week. And every single person for the next 20 million seconds that comes into Bridge Builders, we as a leadership team are absolutely committed to helping you be all you can be in the next 20 million seconds. And who knows what might happen at the end of this, those 20 million seconds. It could be just outstanding. And what you'll find is the minute you start to change one thing, a whole bunch of other things will start to align and come in and you'll, you'll be on that train. Woo -hoo! <laughs> so guys, tonight I want to just introduce the idea of B Cubed. This is where we're going. This is who you might be today. And at the end of 21, 20 million seconds, this is what we want to see. We want you to feel amazing depth different colours, different aspects of who you are and be totally cool to be out there and to be used and worked on and, and utilising and taking advantage of your world. Would that be a cool thing? And you can say, I'm only a young person, I've got no idea. That's okay, let's start where you are. We'll just start where you are. And if you don't want to do that, that's your choice, but please, here's my, war my warning. Do not affect the journey of another person. If they choose to go on this journey, it's their time and their turn. It's not up to you. If you don't want to move, your 20 million seconds is ticking away just like everybody else. You will get to the end of 2017 and you will not have moved, but they will have, and you might find that they've moved away from you. <laughs> wow. I've had people I've moved away from over the past three months. I've moved away from them because they're not a good influence in my life. That's harsh reality, but it's still true. You are the average of the five people you hang around. It's a challenge. What about if you hang out with one person? If you only hang out with one, well, that's probably not, that, not an unhealthy thing if you don't hang out with anyone. However, so tonight's challenge, if we want to start this journey for the next 20 million seconds, right, it will change your life 
it will scare the what's it's out here you know and it will be a challenge it will be gut-wrenching but it will be exciting and you'll know you're alive every single day because you're heading to what you want you're being the bet the the best that you can be i want more out of my life you want more out of your life well we're going to be deliberate about it we're going to help you focus on it and all the people in this room and we're going to cover finance later on in the year we're going to look at health and grooming and all that sort of stuff later in the year we're going to talk about how we and that quite simply we shared that little idea in our advanced class last year with a whole bunch of students about the thousand dollar bottle and there's young people all over the joint doing this thing you know one thousand dollars don't tell anybody just go ahead and do it why because you don't need to broadcast it just go ahead and do it just do it for you because that would be cool Let's go into our packs. Good stuff. I can't stand up.